Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So I need to make a plummet. A plummet is a type of lead that you use to figure out the depth of the water where you're fishing. And it's primarily used for float fishing. Let me show you some floats real quick that I may use in this video, or I may not. Come on. Here we go. This is a tube of assorted floats. Some of these are wagglers and some of them are not. Now they're shotted floats and at some point in this video I'll show you what I mean by that. This is a thill jigging float but it can also be used as a shotted float to where just that's going to stick out. You will get the idea at some point in this video because we are going to have to shot a float. Now here are some very small floats for micro fishing when I want to do that and then there are some right there. The whole reason why I'm making my own plummets is because I just can't get plummets in this country. They're widely used in the UK and in Europe and Thailand and lots of other places. They're very available, just not here. So they do make them at a half ounce. That's what these are. Half ounce teardrop weights. The eye is big enough. Why does that need to be big? Because you're going to put your hook through here. And then you're going to put your hook through that. So the hook and line has to go through this teardrop. And come on, let's just get it made and you'll get it. There we go. These are the two materials that I'm going to use. This is insulating foam. I just found blowing around outside. It's for pipes. And then we got an old broken float that I picked up somewhere on a bank sometime this month. So you could always just play the guesstimation game when you're trying to figure out what the depth is and where you want to set your float. Having, having a plummet takes a bit of that guesswork out and speeds it up for you. I'm going to line these up and see where I might need to cut. Okay, I got it. Wish me luck. Oh, easy. Like a hot knife through butter. Well, not too pretty, but that'll work. No, that will not work. It's too thick. Try to smooth it out a little bit where it's not so uneven. And perfect. Got it fairly thin. Don't want it so thick that it's going to make the weight float. And I don't think it's going to affect this half ounce. There we go. Here we go. Don't use this on your hair. It's not for your hair. This is Gorilla Glue. I'm going to use Super Glue as well, but sometimes you want Gorilla Glue. And the thing about the original Gorilla Glue, which is what this is, says original right there. See, when you use this, it's going to puff up. It's going to expand. And I kind of want that for this because this is a curved surface here and that's a flat surface there. So if I just use Super Glue, only so much of the glue will be on the surface of both these items. If I use this, it'll expand around it. So what we want to do is just dab a little bit, make a little circle around this little lightsaber looking piece of foam. Woo, it's cold in here. This stuff is thick. Here we go. Using this paper sack here so I don't end up gluing my plummets to the table. Always thinking smart here on M hood fishing. I'm, I just glued it to my finger though. I ain't, it's still out on my finger. No, come on, get off my finger. Here. Oh, I thought we were gonna end up gluing it to the knife. I'm just going to set it right down on there. Set it to the side and forget about it. Let's get us another one out. I just wanna make two. Just wanted to show that you could make it out of different material. I'm looking forward to making it out of the insulating foam because I think it's going to be a lot easier. Actual plummets are going to have something soft in the middle. I have seen others where it is soft stuff on the outer edge and it, it looks like a Hershey kiss, but a lot of them will be hollow and that hollow area in the middle is going to have either soft rubber, a soft rubber core or cork. And there's, Sometimes there's a groove on one side, you know, there's a groove somewhere that you run your line through. So like I said, your hook and line is going to come through the eye 
and then original plummet would have a resting groove for that line you put the point of the hook into whatever soft material is in the core there and it'll stay and then you can find the depth you're either going to use this to have your bait right on the bottom or right off if you know where the bottom is if you know the depth then you know where in the water column you're setting your bait because you can start from knowing the bottom where the bottom is and work your way up and you're like okay i got my bait a foot off the bottom now that's how it works and it takes a lot of that guesstimation out let's make our second one just want to figure out where i want to cut so i wanted to use a wine bottle cork but unfortunately i don't know anybody that drinks wine and i haven't been able to get to a place where you can buy corks just corks believe me they do sell them random corks in a bag at like craft stores yeah, I think this is going to work really well. I say it's going to work really well. It's really thick. I'm just hoping that it'll still sink. We will have to test it. But that's what this video is about. It's a DIY video about how to make something that you just can't get. Ooh, this super glue is coming out easier than that Gorilla Glue did. That's because... <laughs> This just came from a warm store. Hadn't been in here long enough to be cold. I'm gonna get a fair amount on here because this is pretty much like a sponge, so a lot of it's gonna soak up. This time, I'm gonna just form it on there and hold, hold tight. It's been a bit, my fingers hurt. Maybe I can let go? Yeah, you're right, it doesn't take that long for super glue. I really wanted to test this one and look at that works perfect now that i have plummets i'm ready to go fishing come on let's do it i want to see if i can see what we're targeting today yeah we're, we came out here to target common mollies to test out these plummets i've seen them here and they're always hugging the bottom right now because of the cold water so the plummets are going to help get that bait set properly right on the bottom or maybe just a little bit off it i can do whatever i want but i think we're going to start with the bait right on the bottom let's get going here for the purpose of this video we're going to use a float that might be kind of big for what we're doing but it'll be able to be seen by me and you but first we need to shot this float so this is an unloaded float and it's kind of a hybrid between a stick float and a waggler so you can just pinch it onto the line with that spring but when we put this in this floats not going to sit straight up you would have to put the right amount of shot either down the line or up here on each side of the float we're gonna start with these two little BB shots right here see if that will hold it down we want just the top tip coming out of the water I'm gonna put one on each side as you can see that that is holding it down but not as far down as I want right now I haven't shot it properly just wanted that top tip coming out with the body of the float where the foam is the cork part to be under the water surface the wind is going to affect it less that way and the more your float is down in the water the more sensitive it's going to be here's the one that i put the insulating foam on and here's the other plummet with the little piece of cork that i put on there we are going to use this one remember they're half ounce teardrop weights so can you see the hook Maybe not. It's so small. Oh, but I dropped it. I have this leadered on to four pound test. I would like one pound, but I didn't have it. At, I don't have that at the moment. So the leader for this Tenego hook is probably less than a pound, but that's fine for what we're doing today. We want to put the hook through the eye of the weight and then 
come down to the bottom where the foam is and put the hook in the bottom it's a little there we go a little finagly because it's so so small you can barely see it where i want to target these is right here on the edge of this dying veg and see it pulls the float down i can see where the float is so i kind of have an idea of how high we need to bring that back up it's about a half foot I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time to where we get it just right there's about six inches right back down in that area we need about maybe six more inches or less maybe it's more than half a foot it's always hard to judge what it is when you're looking at it in the water there we are we're gonna bring that float up just a hair so the bait is right there on the bottom because I've been here recently and that's good right there I've observed the mollies just hugging the bottom right now I do not want this bait higher in the column if I had it higher in the column I guarantee you we would catch nothing but mosquito fish Like nobody's business. Just came up out of the woods onto the trail. <laughs> These things are pretty much blind. All right, stop following them. Sadly, no mollies for me, but the point of this video, whereas it's always nice to catch fish in a video, but the point of the video was to demonstrate the plummet, show you how I wanted to make them and why and how you use them. And I've done that. Yeah, you're right. So. I guess it's just been way too cold. Today was nice, but it's been freezing for the past three days. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys, and go find some better fishing after I warm up with a, a cup of coffee or something. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.